All right, guys, we are in the dark here. We're going to do some DPVR through the lens with Half-Life Helix. Come on, let's do this in 4K. Look at this, guys. Look, look at this. I'm going to go inside of the lens. I'm going to go closer to the lens. Closing my hand. Check this out. Look at the clarity. I mean, this is crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. And if I look to the side, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't blur. I mean, look at the quality of these Fresno lenses, even though it's not pancake lenses. It's purely Fresno, but look, look at these shadows. Let me just zoom in very quickly. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Just on the edges a little bit, but it does, it's, as you go in closer and closer, you can see there's no blur at all on the graphics. And I have to say that, you know, you watched the live stream before, guys, right? And you know that I had a little bit of issues in terms of the performance. But when I'm not live streaming and I don't have my OBS switched on and all these kind of different things, my RTX 2070 with the i7 9700K actually can handle the DPVR beautifully. I have to say I'm quite happy with the quality. Let me just zoom in again. So let me just go out. Zoom 2x. There we go. And then let's go inside your seats. Much more difficult for me to get the clarity because it's so zoomed in. As you can tell, I have to go here. There we go. It's not really... My camera is not really... Oh, there we go. Got a nice focus there. 2x zoom. That's the maximum I can go, unfortunately, with my iPhone. Can't go further than that. Let me zoom out again. There we go. We're back outside. Let me try the other lens, see how that looks. Look at the clarity, guys. I mean, this is uncompressed 4K quality. I mean, for 500 bucks, come on. This is absolutely amazing. A great alternative to the HP Reverb G2, of course, because the G2 would not be, I mean, the, the sweet spot would not be as large as what you have here. I mean, look, look at this. Look at this sweet spot. It's absolutely Absolutely fantastic. You could really get to see the, 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 the shadows, the textures. All these different kind of things here are absolutely sublime, I have to admit. And you can really read. I mean, look. Look at the TV over there. You can read the text without any issues. You can see the quality of the textures over there. Over there, if I just point to the vase, you can see there. Look at these lines. You can see them really well. Look at the lines here on the cabinet. The lines on the TV, I mean, the textures are absolutely beautiful, guys. Really, really nice stuff. Really loving the things. I mean, can you imagine, guys? They really got rid of all the thrills and everything that, that is not required on a VR headset to try and get it as cheap as possible or low price. Easiest barrier of entry as possible, of course. And it just looks really, really fantastic. And guys... Do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will be providing you more videos like this, more through the lens with different games and stuff. But yeah, this is not a bad story. Guys, do hit the likes. Let me know if you like these kind of videos so that I can, you know, show you things, more things, because that is the way for us to interact. I mean, look at this mixed reality here. Oh, you can probably hear my RTX 2070 churning right now. I mean, look at this, guys. I love the holographic effects here. Very cool. Let me just zoom in. There we go, zoomed in a bit more. Look at these holographic effects, guys. They're really, really awesome. The clarity is just really superb. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And here, what happened? I jumped and here I'm going further down, All right? So here, go higher, here, go lower. But yeah, we can see all the various different effects here on the TV. Now, of course, the colors, there's no color bleeding. Look at the clarity of these colors. No color bleeding whatsoever, but this is purely the effects of the actual game on the TV. Look at these textures on the vase, they're beautiful. You can see all the lines crisp and clear. No jagged edges whatsoever. Everything is just perfect, guys. The RTX 2070 is a medium, medium PC, of course. You don't need to spend $5,000 on a PC to get good PC VR quality. $1,000 US dollars is more than good enough, in fact, my i7 9700K would only cost you second hand. Most probably, I would say, between 700 to 1,000 US dollars max. 
I mean, the graphics card itself is only about 200 US dollars. Maybe the CPU will cost you about four or 500 US dollars, it's possible. And then you get yourself some NVMe and all this, but it's relatively cheap. The SSD and all this kind of stuff, relatively cheap. But guys, this is really, really awesome. Really cool. I mean, the only thing lacking on here, of course, is the audio, but they will have accessories, guys. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, as I will provide you all the details as I get them in terms of having the additional audio to be put as speakers, attachments to the actual Halo Strip. If I show you here the Halo Strip, of course, you can't really see it properly because we're at nighttime, but there will be some speakers coming here. So that will be pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, guys, look at this. Look at this crisp, clear. Let me zoom in, okay, again, times two. Let's see if we can get it. I may have to get my arm further away. There you go. I mean, look at this, guys. This is crisp and clear stuff, guys. If only my phone could focus. There we go. I mean, look at this, guys. This is really beautiful stuff. I mean, come on. The only thing that came close at this price at the time was the Pico Neo 3 link cable. And, you know, the Pico Neo 3 isn't as good as the DPDR. I am afraid to say the DPDR here is definitely winning against the Pico Neo 3. So definitely those who have a Pico Neo 3 looking for a better PCVR solution should definitely consider DPVR, excuse me, if they're looking to, for a Pico Neo 3 alternative, excuse me, then you should definitely consider the DPVR E4 because they have finally come out with a product, guys, that I'm confidently able and proudly able to say works well. Comfort, it will take you some time to get comfortable, but they are going to be providing another type of facial interface guys so again hit the notification bell after you subscribe so that i can provide you all these details but this is really really awesome guys and of course i will show you some other in the lens footage in other areas of half-life if you like this specific video hit the likes guys hit the reshare comment below let me know what you want to see you are in control of this channel guys you decide what you want me to do so whatever you want me to do comment below and if you like these kind of through the lens videos hit the like and for any news about dpvr and other vr headsets of course hit the notification bell after you subscribe as i will be talking to walkabout mini golf founder soon also we're trying to get the between realities guys here also steve knows we're trying to get him on the channel as well as nacy so we're talking to different people as well as of course the developers of hubris and developers of other games in our live streams and doing AMA, Ask Me Anything sessions as well. So yeah, so guys, hit the notification bell after you subscribe. You can see the Fresnels, right? You can see the Fresnels here, but then the moment I go in, they're gone. You don't see them anymore. There's no screen door effect, guys. None whatsoever. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing, guys. So guys, I know you can't really see me, but all good. See you in another video very soon, very, very, very soon. Hit the likes, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the live stream very soon. Talk to you later. Bye for now.